Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn, and to a new, ooh, a new day. It's a grey and gloomy day today, and so it should be, because it's a sad day. I told you guys I would post a vlog when interesting things or something goes on in my life that's worth filming for me to share. Now, I've said it's a sad day, it's a gloomy day, which can only mean one thing when that's behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's play Spot Oh, I'm pointing right at it. Spot the chip. That's right. Maximus has taken a beating. I'm absolutely devastatedly gutted that this thing has been damaged. I... Now, all I can say is that there's a tale behind how this happened. And it all started a few weeks ago when I discovered I had a bit of a cough and a runny nose. All right, so I didn't know whether we were going to be ended up here or not, but here we are, alas. So, uh, about four days ago, I had a bit of a choking attack whilst drinking a cup of tea on the stream, like everyone saw it. The rest of the day, my voice was all like, eh, or, or like, like hoarse, but I kept coughing. Next day, I wake up, I've got a bit of a flu. I've been taking like cold tablets and all that, you know, like flu relief tablets, and everyone like I've spoke to is like, well, you've not got loss of taste or temperature and all that sort of stuff, so I don't think it's COVID-19. But seeing as I've still got a runny nose now after like four or five days, it's like, you know what? It's about time I actually go and do a driving test, which is what I'm doing now. All right, so here I am in the car park at the testing center. As you can see, if I zoom into that, it says COVID-19 testing bays. I think I need a mask on for when I'm talking to them. I needed to bring a driver's license of ID. And they were like, hey, can you bring some hand sanitizer and stuff for us uh, so you can make sure you've got clean hands? So I brought the one from the video where I did this. I have been keeping safe and keeping secure. Okay, so a bit of a madden. You have to do it yourself. Interesting. All right, so I got pulled this out. That's what we've got. A little test strip. <laughs> All right, so I've got to do, I've got to do like 10 seconds. Guys, let's count 10 seconds. Right, at the back of my throat, you ready? Ew. That is nasty. I'm going to pause this because I'll probably throw up. Yeah, I have not got a good gag reflex. All right, so I've tickled that in my tonsils for like 10 seconds, and now I've got to shove it up my nose. Okay. <sighs> So glad I, I'm so glad I managed to do that test myself rather than having someone else do it because I probably would throw up on the person. God, I can't even stand brushing my teeth sometimes. Right, so then I've got this. I've got to put that in there and then I have to just naturally, she said it would snap. Oh, there you go. Oh my God. Right, so that's snapped and then I put that in. I don't touch any of it. Sign it up and then I put it back into the bag. And we are here, presto done. Woo! Yeah, so that felt pretty weird, not gonna lie. She's probably gonna come over and be like, gag, did you? I'm like, yeah. So, <coughs> um, yeah, it's done. And you can see, if you look at the bottom of it, I like the liquid in it's just like holding it all in. But, yeah, that was a bit of a weird experience. The back of the throat one, that was nasty. That was, re that was really nasty. Well, really appreciate. It. Anyway, I hope you don't. I hope you stay safe and to all the team and everything. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Oh, what a nice woman! All right, so I've got my information. Need to go put it in online, and then apparently, like within 24 hours or something, they'll find out whether I've got coronavirus or not. All right, home time. Just thought I'd share that uh, adventure of me going and getting a COVID test. Yeah. What are the chances? I pull up on the curb to park my car up. That raised grid just took the front out and end of my car out. Sick. You literally, you cannot write that, can you? You can't write it, you can't make it up. If the truck would have pulled out, or I would have been a few seconds later, the truck would have been there, I would have just turned into my road, no problem. If my dad and Alice weren't walking along the side of the road, I wouldn't have bumped into them and gone, oh, I'll pull over. If like, if there wasn't a drop curb there, I wouldn't have pulled into the drop curb or anything. But no, I happened to pull into the one area with a drop curb, which is the only vehicle my car can go on, with every other car on the road being on the pavement. I happened to pull up to it and crunch did the damage. Now, of all this you've seen, you've seen the video of the damage and all that sort of stuff, what you didn't see is the under damage, okay? You might be like, under damage? Like, probably just a skid plate there. There's a skid plate there, but it's a carbon fibre skid plate, um, and 
Oof, ooh, um, this is what it looks like. Yeah, pretty damn painful. And do you know how much that's gonna cost if I do decide to get that repaired? 3,000 Jesus pieces. <laughs> yeah, so not exactly the cheapest thing in the world, but it is what it is. Now, I'm taking the car in today to get the bumper and the internal bumper uh, taken care of and to act assess the the carbon damage underneath so the gap the carbon won't be getting touched today i spoke to some guy who's talking he's saying about taking it to like a fabrication shop that deals with carbon specifically if you want to try and repair it which i don't know if you're fully able to do what the spec of it i don't fully know the answer to that so that's why again i'm taking it in for them to uh, to to look at so yeah that's that's all fun and games um and, and, all, and this all stemmed from me thinking i may have had verona i found a place like you saw um that because it, it had loads of slots free. I just slot, slot, slotted in and it was absolutely perfect. Fine, super fast, got my results the next day. And it turns out, if we're here, drum roll please. I don't have the Rona. If I've got the text, I'll put it here. We blurred out information, but I got a negative. So uh, I'm so happy. I've, I'm so happy I failed a test in my life. That's that's a good sign, isn't it? So uh, I don't have the Rona. It is just the common cold. And I'm actually still now, maybe like two, three weeks later, um, still just like having symptoms of this ongoing cough and i just cannot shake it at all but yeah uh with what's going on in the life of tom and where have i been that's where the journey's um taken me so far but we have to go to chester now to get the car taken care of um and whilst we do that or before we do that why don't we throw back to some old footage i have of let's have a look at expensive things tom can find in london tally ho so of the shard in London, okay. Wow, look at that. And this is what you call a gym with a view. This is a serious gym with a view, isn't it? Look at that. Ex exercising right across London. Mate, that is absolutely banana crazy. Got all this like isolations, not isolation stuff, separation stuff for uh, health and hygiene. Crazy, isn't it? Holy shit. Talk about a bathroom with a view. That is crazy. Man. This is a random bonus clip to throw in the vlog, but you will not believe, <laughs> believe the price of this honey. Rare Harvest Manuka Honey, 1,390 pounds. What the heck? I have now found the most expensive drink I could find. Inside Harrods. You walk in here and on your right hand side, oh my god, 75,000 pounds for this. Oh my god, a cognac, Jesus. I think I've now found um, the most expensive book. And it is a Ferrari collector's edition of like all the cars they've made, but it doesn't just come as the book. It's the case, which is like, I think an engine covering with this insane stand for 4,500. That is crazy. Hold that thought. That was just a cool feature because it looked good. This crazy bad boy, 9,500 for a book. Obviously it's art, but wow, well, that is an expensive book. So I thought I found the most expensive drink. I was wrong. The gentleman has showed me this Macallan 80,000 pounds. Look how small the bottle is compared to the other one, but look at that. Oh my God. And he says he's sold three of them. I like how this turned into like a vlog mini series of finding the most expensive thing of things in Harrods. Oh my gosh, look how amazing this staircase is. Well, it's actually a set of escalators, but look at it. Oh my God. Mate, this place just screams money. Look, I'm an Egypt. This is cool. It's kind of like the traffic center, but this technically came first, so. I have now found the most expensive gaming setup I have ever seen in my life. 30,000 pounds for this Acer Predator Theronos gaming pod. Three screen setup, console built into it. Oh my God, what a piece of kit that is. What are the chances of me bumping into something? <laughs> Thanks for filming. No, that's right. Dude, that is crazy! Oh yeah. Oh my god. Is it as good as this or is it a No, so it's not quite the origin PC. Yeah, yeah. But what the idea is 
What are the chances of me finding a dope ass set up like that? But then uh, the guy who works on it was a fan, and the reason why he started working on it and getting into gaming and all that is because of me. He started watching my Minecraft videos back in the day. Such a small world. It looks like I've now found the world's most expensive iPhone. It was 5,070, but with a nice reduction to 4,050 for 24 karat gold iPhone. And whoever's playing that piano is killing it. Is that just one playing it? No, it's a speaker, damn it. Ooh, a beautiful drive later. Here we are at Inchcape Volts. Volkswagen, not, not, not Mercedes or anything. I think it's part of the same group uh, to get the beast repaired. I'm absolutely gutted about it, man. But what can you do? Like I said, even my dad said, you couldn't have wrote that. You couldn't have made that up. If it, what, if that if that drop curb didn't have the grid sticking out of it, I would have been A-OK. -okay. But there you go. I'll show you a bit of a video underneath it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It is what it is. Ooh, all right. So um, I've just done like my key drop off in there. Drop my key off. Filled in the floor. Being like, my name's Tom. Registration plate. Fix it, please. Um, and they're gonna take it off me and charge me lots of monies. Um, I did just get interrupted then because I got a phone call to let me know about getting a flu jab because it seems like the right season to be doing it right now. Don't know whether it is actually. Get a flu jab, weaken your system from being a bit ill from it because some people can have like side effects and stuff like that or like downturn of it. So get the flu jab, get ill, hopefully not get coronavirus in that time and then be a bit more immune to the common flu. I'll take it. But again, that said, um, they've just canceled on me till November. I was supposed to get it tomorrow. Nope, they've delayed it a month. But okay. Goodbye, Maximus. You've been amazing. I've had, I've had it six months. I can't believe it. Six months, no hiccups, just um, a chipped tooth, basically. It's like a dragon, isn't it? Look at it. Toothless from, from How to Train Your Dragon. I've bloody gone and chipped him. Well, the last thing I expected to be doing was to be riding around on a bike in this cold, wintry weather, but because my car's in for getting fixed, I haven't got a car, because you might be like, wait a minute, you've got a Defender and a TT, which they're both not MOT'd, so I can't drive them at the moment. So I'm on my bike because I've got to go to a Photoshop to get some photo frame things sorted out for the decoration in my house, which will look lovely. But whilst I'm doing that, swinging by Syndicate Original. See how these cranks are doing. SyndicateOriginal.com, hello. Come in. Hello, how hello. are we doing? Oh we my God. Really? Yeah. Come in. Wait. Oh, oh. Nothing. This, this is just oh my God. So I, the vlog doesn't know yet <laughs> that they went live. Oh, so the vlog doesn't know that the tracksuit do you, went live. Do you want to tell them? Because I don't want to tell the them. Live. <laughs> about COVID and everything surrounding that, we're doing it in two waves. So the first half of the track suits went on sale and sold out in a couple of hours. Sorry if you didn't know, but you should be following us on social media by now. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung, but there was only one thing for Tom, and that thing came from syndicateoriginal.com. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the brand new track suits are available right this very second of this vlog going live. Um, that was my attempt at being like a Christmassy uh, like sort of person, even though it's totally not uh, a few days away from Halloween or anything like that. I quite literally still have the mask I used in the last video and last year's Halloween party that I, that I had that was just so epic. But, well, times have changed and we're not doing that this year. But that's right, after months and months of waiting, there has been a special delivery. Now, I am just going to put a disclaimer out there. Not every single person who purchased one gets one of these customised bags. It literally says Thomas Cassell, and this is for Christmas that I've already got out. And uh, no, I've not, I've not decorated my house for Christmas. Just, I just happen to have that in the background. But there's something inside this bag, which we've all been waiting for for so long. After months and months of waiting for the order to come in, for the shipment to come in, for coronavirus to hit, to not being able to ship them to this very moment, ladies and gentlemen, the brand new Syndicate Original tracksuits are out. Oh 
Oh yeah, check it out ladies and gentlemen. I know you've seen it before. I know we've shown them on the vlogs, but they are finally out. Look at them. Oh my God, they're so fresh, they're so fly. Now you guys know, like I said in the vlog a little second ago, we couldn't release these without actually mentioning them in the vlog. I felt super bad that it got to a stage where we could release them, but I wasn't daily vlogging. And like I said, I didn't want to just go posting a vlog, being like, tracksuit's out now sort of thing. It was just not the not the way I wanted to do them. So what we did is we released them in batches. We did one batch just to people who follow me on like Instagram, Twitter, all that sort of stuff for anyone to pick up who just happened to be like keeping an eagle eye out for when they were being released. And we released and fully sold out that batch. And now, seeing as though I finally got a vlog going out, we are releasing the second and final batch so if you do want to get yourself a brand new Syndicate original tracksuit, look at that booty, god damn it looks good in these pants. We are releasing them and that's it. Once they're done, they're out of stock, they're finished, they're never coming back. Fully limited edition. They took months to like design, make and get ordered and finally into the country. And then they got delayed even more months, many months because of coronavirus and everything like that. So we're just stoked to say we finally got them out, but it would be really unfair if I didn't give you guys the chance to get them. Not only to just get them because you've been hyping them up for so goddamn long, but more importantly, in time for Christmas. So if you do want to get yourself some epic swagger or your loved one or your friend one or something like that in time for Christmas, make sure you go to syndicateoriginal.com, linked in the description, and go and pick yourself up an actual fully in real life tracksuit. They're here, but do me one favor. If you are going to order them, make sure you check the sizing sheets. They do ride a little big. Uh, I, like, I must have gained some weight when we were fitting them and all that sort of stuff. But look how good this fits. I fit a small and it's looking fresh and it's looking fly. So, linked in the description, go get one. Oh, and by the way, that's not the only uh, thing that was in the Santa sack. I actually got myself another present, another toy to show you guys. So let's throw back to like either a few months or a few weeks ago when I received one of the greatest things I've ever bought. I found the biggest like resolve Ooh. of this everything. You can have people, even if you're in Manchester, in your support bubble. Or like, well, not your support bubble, their support bubble. If someone lives on their own, like as a single person, Mark lives on as a single person. So if we uh, practice social distancing, oh, yeah, to, like yeah, as Ken yeah. goes, two meters, two meters, two meters, two meters, two meters, That's two, two meters, two meters Mark can technically, by law, come round to the house. From your nipple to your finger is a meter. What? <laughs> so, no. But then again, like I'm sure if I actually bumped into the pub in the pub, it'd probably end up closer than that. But anyway, oh, like Ma Ma Marquez, <laughs> Marquez uh, has just turned up though and realised that I had a package uh, outside my house, uh, which isn't good because it does actually have the picture for electrical batteries on it. You probably threw it over the fence, mate. That that's piss wet. Threw oh my god, that. Right, let's see what's in it. Ooh, all I'm saying is that this box is very, very wet. What? Oh, no! Oh, my God. Right, luckily, it's wrapped in, in clean film. I can't believe this is here. Bro, when I was down in London, I discovered these, like, they're just so overrated. You see them on Instagram, but I was like, nah, I don't need one of them. Dude, it's one of the massage guns. Oh, yeah, but, dude... I tried one when I was in London. I was walking around and my legs, mate, were aching. Like, yeah, I, and yeah. I mean, like, this is not sponsored. My legs were aching. I was in so much, like, just annoyed pain. I just wanted to put my feet up and rest or put an ice pack on it or something. Or, you know, a wet paper towel like they do in yeah. grammar school, right? So I, I'm there in this tech aisle and they've got one of them guns. And I thought, you know what? I'll try it on my arm. And it was like, oh, dead strong. I was like, that's quite nice, that. I put it on the back of my leg. I it there for about 30 seconds. So satisfying. Perfectly fine for the rest of the day. I'm going to use it on my thumbs after I finish gaming, on my hand when I'm back to vlogging. But dude, that is it. You can't come and get it off me because it's social distance. Two meters! Two meters! Fuck you! Bloody fuck you! Now, my brother isn't just here for the sake of being here. He's here for an actual essential task. Luckily, he's not smashing the house apart like the other gas men were. Thanks, Robbo. Thanks, Des. Marquez is servicing by air conditioning because it's got a leakings. By the way, do you notice all the holes? Hole up there. Hole there. Yeah, that's because of the... That's the, that's the plumbers for you. I didn't even do it properly, though. Bloody right? plumbers. Remember when I did a hole in your wall? And I did a nice... I, I don't, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you... You nearly know, fell. <laughs> hey, you had one job for me. I want a new bulb. Ryan, find that picture. <laughs> what, what picture? Uh, explosion. Oh, my God. I forgot we can get him to do that. Go on. What? Put your hand out and say explosion. No. <laughs> wow. I have just made the biggest discovery ever. As I'm saying, like, I think this thing's about to change my life, right? I, I, I thought it was called the rail gun. It's called...
hold the ray gun. I have got a real life ray gun. Like Call of Duty Zombies ray gun. Obviously it's missing the Y, but oh my God. I tell you something, I wonder if I could reach out to someone who can like customize products and imagine if they turned, all right, this is where I'm gonna need Orion's help here, all right? I'm like, oh, look at that. Oh, that is a proper piece of kit, that. Oh my God. Oh my God. By the way, just wanna point out, the actual one that I tried when I was like down in London was um, a 24 karat gold edition for like a thousand pound. And I was like, oh, no, 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 don't need that. Um, so I just went straight online there and then and got it ordered. I wonder if it's got any battery on the get go. Please, please. Oh, they never do. All right, so I'm gonna have to put that on a big charge. But th this is my idea. This is my idea. Imagine, right? It kind of looks like a gun, but not a gun. Imagine if I could send this off to someone, right? And they could customize it like hydro dip it, because I'd ruin it if I was to do that myself. Like fully customize it, right? Into the color scheme of a zombie's ray gun. Now, Orion, can we put like a PNG image of a zombie ray gun here? Imagine if I could get that sort of color looking color scheme like as professional as possible but as a version of this so it's a ray gun but a massage gun not an, a zombie alien blaster but yeah there it is dope ass machine massager whatever basically i need to put it on charge i'll show you what it does Speaking of charges, I did actually pay like the extra 90 quid or whatever it was for a wireless charging stand. So you can just pick it up and go. Like, it's like, you know, everything's wireless charging it, like your phone, your headphones, all that sort of stuff. So I thought, you know what? I will get this because I'll just put it by like the side of my bed, on my door when I walk in, or in my office when I'm gaming, just to get me super chilled out and feeling good. So uh, let's get this plugged in, charging, and rocking and rolling, and give it a go. I'm starting to think that this is like a professional piece of equipment. Look at the quality of that battery, but you don't just get one battery, you get two. I didn't pay extra for that. But look, look, it's like one of them, you know, like in the in the movies where they pull out the sniper rifle and like put it together. Like, look at the size of this box and the layout of it. Like, do you roll up to a gym to massage someone like, ch -ch 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 -ch. Re 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 reload. I really don't want to break it, so I probably shouldn't have done that, but is that, is that like what you're supposed to do? This is a proper piece of kit. Oh, okay, so no wonder it didn't turn on before because uh, there was no battery plugged into it, but it's, it's a little bit weird. I have to increase the pressure. Oh wait, there is a plus, th oh, there's a plus button there. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh my God. I feel like my bones are being shaken up. Oh my God. I feel like my bones are being shaken to death, but wait, put it back on. The max it can go up to is 2,400. Okay, this doesn't look right. Right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my leg. All right, so turn it on, max power. Oh, oh I can't do that. Do you know like as a kid when you sit on that chair like the arca in the arcades and you're like, and it vibrate. Like the Tower of Terror, it feels like that. Ah! on the highest setting. Oh. What the hell are you doing in there? What know. are you doing in there, boy? <laughs> I always used to dig myself in the leg after runs and stuff because it's just, I don't know, right? it's good, so. So press the button where, you, where, you, where the on button is. Yeah. There's an arrow above it. Press it up till it goes to 2,400, which is the highest speed. You've just turned it off, well done. Oh, wow. That's so hard. That's strong, that, isn't it? It works, doesn't it? Seriously works. Oh, I don't think it would, would you? Well, no, so it's almost yeah. painful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've discovered that if you put it on your hand and look at it on the highest speed, it looks so weird. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I tell you something, that, how good is that? That's good. It, that is good, isn't it? I need one of them. What are they called? Ray, ray gun. So but, then, but, but then, look, literally, <laughs> just lock it into there. Charge. Wireless charger, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, I put it on my neck. Yeah. It vibrated my brain. I, I legit thought I was gonna pass out. I'm not even kidding. Is that when you have a tattoo and have that tattoo on your neck there? Yeah. It just the whole, your whole, all your senses go up there, don't you? Dude, that thing with the fingers was so weird. Fingers. Dude, my hand feels like it's <laughs> melting. Almost two weeks later, I am back to collect the whip. Christ on a bike. I've already paid some money, but I've got still another 918 quid to go. Right. 
Well, I've got him back. <sighs> I am so glad to have him back. It's kind of, I call it, I know you're supposed to call it a girl and all that, but it's Maximus, he's a beast. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I could go back out and it, and it not look like it's been chipped. Brilliant. <laughs> Hello, and today, welcome to Attics with Tom. We're, stay still, we're going to be going through what's in Tom's attic. Now, I'm a person who particularly don't like storing things if you're not really going to keep it as a memory or something like that. So, for example, Dad, who built my house, why did you store this tyre up here? What does this belong to? Whose wheel even is this? And why is it in my loft? I don't think so. I'm throwing it away. So basically, on today's adventure of what has Tom done through lockdown? Um, I'm emptying and clearing out my loft because it looks like shit. As you guys know, I'm planning on getting an extension done. So I'm eventually going to have to organise all this shit up here. But what I'm thinking is, why not organise it now and then, you know, fully sort out the storage and everything like that. And something that I'm getting done in the when we get the fully extension done is in the next loft that appears on the new roof. I'm fully getting it boarded because there's one thing I hate and I don't know why I didn't get it done the first round is, you know, seeing all this loose and not being able to fully have, uh, you know, like surfaces to store stuff on. I hate it and I don't know why we didn't fix it. So this is what we're taking care of right now. Also watch Paranormal Activity 1 last night. So listen I'm, go I'm going crazy through lockdown but by the way look how good the hair's looking the black roots are coming through the hair's looking silver <laughs> i'm liking it also uh ignore the like the the sore i've got on my nose because of the runny nose runny nose runny nose like coronavirus symptoms i was having um i've blown my nose that many times that i've got a sore on my nose so it's pretty nasty <laughs> Sorry about that in advance. Ah, yes, again, um, just for when I need a spare cupboard door. Don't get me wrong, my dad has got like a point when things break, it's hard to replace. So having spares is good. But keeping um, pre-worn out tyres in the loft with a rubber band from like the 80s, I'm not quite sure I need that in the loft. So yeah, also shout out to uh, uh, Alex Miles Bars um, for, the, for the internet still, because he sorted that out like a legend. I also found out the other day that he got jumped. He was taking his dog on a walk and someone tried jumping him to steal his dog. So I reached out to him to make sure he was all right. But what a crazy world within, where we live in. You can go for a, a walk with your dog and someone tries jumping you to steal your dog. Like, what? All right, who knows which golden oldie toys we're going to find in here. Because they... I'm going to make these, mate. Oh, mate. My James Bond collector's cars. Oh, my God. I love these so much. Look at that. The retractable... How do, how do you get it to pop up? Isn't there... There's a button somewhere that makes it go... Oh, is it when you hit the bumper? At the back, you ready? Boom, bulletproof screen. Oh my God, I love these as a collectible. So basically these boxes right here are Tom's uh, childhood toy boxes. This is where I put all my, you know, tears and upset. What's in this? Oh, my trains. Oh my God, my trains, man. Look at my trains. Whoa, 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 whoa. What else is in here? Oh my, what the heck? Oh my God. I tried making houses out of like, sticks and bands and stuff like that and look at this like so, dude this is like minecraft in the in the olden days look at this what is this what is this sound oh my god oh no i was gonna say if there was actually a, a, a cassette in there i remember i used to record audio on it and stuff like that i i i i don't quite know what i was trying to do there holy shit brick throwback and a half to 2007 where i went to laser quest I went to Laser Quest, and I was named Tominator. Oh my god, that was my old gamer tag. Well done from Gizmo. Holy shit, man! I absolutely smashed pasties as the one and only Tominator. But what else is in what else is in this box? Is there anything of interest? To know, but everything in my life, I just thought I was a spy. I loved all things James Bond. Walkie talkies, the lot. You name it, I had it. You got a friend in me, do do do. You got a friend in me, do do do. I got troubles and you got them too. And it uh, miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Cause oh wait wait, does he is his mouth open? Wait, cause you got a friend in me. Toy Story, mate. I'm finding all my OG toys up here. 
I'm finding my race cars, bro. I'm finding my milk trucks, bro. Oh my god. What even is that thing, mate? Sh Shadow. Oh, no idea. A dinky toy interceptor. God damn. Man, I used to. I was the kid who played with toys. I just loved them. Fre fresh milk from British farms. Look at that. I was supporting organic farms back in the day. Right, now, let, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but I am really looking forward to being a dad. Like, I am. I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for kids yet, but I'm looking forward to being a dad. Because when I have a kid, I can't wait for them to learn and harness the power of Lego. The old school Minecraft. How, how Lego didn't make a creative game where you run around and build things, I don't know. But this, this here alone is one of the best memories of my life. Not that it's just Lego. But I did my first ever swimming test uh, or swimming race or whatever it was, you know, like when you get your badges as a kid. And when I completed it, my dad said to me, I'm going to take you to Toy Master, not Toys R Us, Toy Master, and you can pick whichever Lego you want. And I was like, oh my God. And I picked an underwater Lego set, came with a shark and everything. I can find the shark. Oh my God. What a piece of, piece of kit that would be. But this was the base of the Lego submarine thing that I built and... It was just one of the best memories of my life. And when you talk, hey, if you know Lego, you know how expensive Lego can be. Oh my God. Look at the scale of this. This was the Lego castle. If you ever had this, you were a, you were a Lego god if you ever had this status of Lego. So that's all I'm saying. But I'm looking forward to having a kid so I can I can go back playing Legos again. Oh, look at that. That's one of my builds. Still, still, alive, still alive. Somewhat still alive. When we... When was the last time I ever touched these Legos to play them? Look, I made a police car. I was making some sort of death ray portable mobile with a with a with a tr with a truck in tow. God, what I'd love! I'd give Harry Potter nine and three quarters Lego. Man, what I'd give to be a kid again and play Lego. There's a guy who does YouTube for a living who plays with Legos. All I'm saying, he's living the dream, and that's a fact. Right, paranormal activity shit started going on. This light started flickering, aka the battery's going. So I managed to clear out a bit of the back of over there with all this. Can you believe this much junk was in my loft? And also, just going to say from a health and safety standpoint, not too sure these ladders look pretty safe, but uh, regardless, I've emptied a lot of shit. Time to ring my brother and see if he wants to uh, grab himself a scale electric kit because this was actually my big brother's, Liam Mark's, uh, electric set as a kid. Then I got given it, and now... I just simply don't want it. So, time to go full circle, give it a bap, and let them reminisce on the good times. E. And alas, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, towards the end of the video, where the questions will already be rolling in, asking when, Tom, when will the next vlog be? Will you be returning to daily vlogging after this video? Like, what is the plan? What, where, what are we doing? And my answer is... There's very much still a virus, guys. There's very, very much still a virus, and we're all in the same boat together. We have no idea what the next set of rules from the government's gonna say we can do, can't do, where we can go, where we can't go. It's just, it's just a bit of insanity. Like, I don't think, realistically, we'll see anything like this ever again in our lives, and this will be our moment in history where we'll look back and when we have kids or whatever, we'll tell them like, Back in my day, the year 2020, there was the great pandemic. Like, it, it will be in the history books as a moment in time where the world literally stood still. And just like the world's standing still, so am I. I. I have so many people reach out to me on a regular basis being like, Tom, when's the next vlog? When's the next daily vlog? When are the vlogs returning? When are you going travel? Can you come fly to this country? Is this event happening in this country? Come and fly out and film it and share it with your audience. And I'm like, I would, I would love to. I just, that sounds great. But one second, let me just, let me just go and tell this virus to disappear real quick. And it's so, it's so upsetting for me because like, I know throughout four years of like daily vlogging that this vlog has been such a like, like piece of entertainment for people to tune into on a regular basis but then for some people who are you know like struggling with health problems or uh, like certain anxieties or whatever that they don't travel and they can't see the world and you know they don't have like friends or family to be able to like interact with on a, a regular basis like i i had you know <laughs> until this virus came along and i love vlogging and i've lo loved sharing my life with you guys but i'm 
just the same as you guys. Like, I've got no special magical thing which makes the virus disappear. Like, I'm not being one of these American vloggers who are saying hell no to the rules, not wearing a mask, still partying, still vlogging, still breaking every rule in the book, but YouTube's A-OK -okay with it. And it's not even a thing of should YouTube be A-OK -okay with it. It's the thing of they shouldn't simply be doing it. And that's why I haven't been posting daily vlogs or being able to make content for you guys. I have been sat inside this office and changing up the way I do my things. Like, I've done YouTube for 10 years and rather than trying to force myself to make content in a vlog, which I simply know isn't fun, isn't entertaining, and would frankly just bore you guys of me tidying up all the crazy amount of wires under my desk or something like that. I know there's a small percentage of you people out there who would probably love that, but that's it's not entertaining for me and if i'm not enjoying the content that i'm filming and putting out for you guys then i kind of don't want to do that which is why i've completely changed up what i'm doing and i extend this invitation out to you guys i've started up a daily live stream from monday to friday 10 30 a.m till 7 30 at night streaming on twitch now i know you guys may have tuned into my live streams before and all i was doing was playing minecraft or a certain game and it just wasn't for you now, with this live stream that I'm doing, I'm not just playing video games. Because I understand, like, I've got an audience here who don't just watch video games. I'll play video games all day, every day. Instead, they want to see the world and explore, like, what, what it has to offer. And that's exactly what I'm doing on Twitch. I'm like... I've created some sort of like show, kind of like how, you know, people listen to the radio whilst they're at work. This is a place for people to be able to like escape from the madness of the world and the negativity that they've always hearing that's going on. Like we're reacting to stupid ass videos. We're doing giveaways. We're just doing like just randomness. Like it, it like when I say randomness, it, ju it just means it's like, it's so hard to encapsulate into like a, a key sentence. What daytime Twitch TV is. That's what I've called it. It's daytime Twitch TV. Now, all I can say is I invite you to come and check it out because Yes, some days we do play video games. Some days we are doing giveaways. Some days I am rating your guys' setup where you're probably working remotely from home and then going, listen, I want to swag out your setup by sending you some free stuff, which we've previously done. Like, I rated people's setups from 1 to 10 and was like, this guy deserves a better chair. So we sent him out a chair. This guy deserves an epic Razer headset. So we sent him out a Razer headset. And it was just awesome. And it's just such a fun way to be able to interact with you guys on a daily basis whilst the vlogs aren't here because I love interacting with you guys. It's my favorite thing, like from making content, whether it's gaming videos to traveling vlogs or gaming vlogs or, you know, just any any sort of live stream or anything. It's the whole point of that is being able to interact with you guys on some sort of media or form or whatever it be. So, you know, like Twitter, Instagram, anything like that, some form of like connection with you guys. And this Twitch live stream that I've created allows me to do just that. So, whilst you're awaiting the next vlog, whilst we're awaiting the cure for the virus, which just completely gets rid of it and puts the world back to normal. Until that moment, I invite you to join me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash syndicate. I'll put a link down in the description. You can go there, you can make a free account, you can chat and talk for free. It's a great way for us all to interact and I absolutely love it. You can join me live there every single weekday, Monday to Friday, 10.30 a.m. Maybe a little lunch break that I usually have. Everyone makes fun of me because I've got these like little pack lunches that I that, that I make up and then eat them um, and then everyone's like oh Tom did you rob a, a, a six-year-old for that on the way to school which is completely not fair right I just really like jam sandwiches so leave it um, till 7 30 at night and it's just it's just a great time like it's a nice way to be able to escape from the madness that is the world and I invite you guys there until something changes in life where I crash my car again or somehow need another coronavirus test or just whoever knows what else is going to happen. It's 2020. It's been one hell of a year. And um, there won't be another vlog until there is something that needs vlogging or is worthwhile to vlog and share with you guys' faces. I will put a quick pin in that because um, the, the Twitch stream knows about this and I don't think you guys know quite that much, actually. And you might be like, wait, you should have vlogged it then. Well, due to social distancing and just like doing it properly, I will be moving forward with an extension on my house. Now, it's not exactly an, an extension being like unnecessary, like, why, why, you don't need an extension, Tom. And you're right, I don't need an extension. But there was always that original design to have a garage extension on my house so I could drive my car onto it, press a button, and then it turns my car around like Batman style. But I could never have it because of a tree um, that had like a preservation order on it. And if I would have chopped down the tree, it would have been like a 25 grand fine. I could have gone to jail for like six months, crazy. But anyway, the tree's gone. 
got struck by lightning, as you guys know and probably caught up with the vlog. But because of which, I am moving ahead with the plans for the house. So there may actually be some more vlogs in the future soon documenting the tale of will Tom's house get extended or will it be another incident of his bedroom? <laughs> Which is it finished yet? <laughs> Which by the way, I still can't quite give you an answer for because it looks finished. It looks absolutely amazing and I'm dead happy with it, but it's not quite finished because like certain things like this are just hanging on a thread and not falling off because they're not secured on properly. Uh, therefore it's it's like 99.9% .9 complete, but, but also, needs doing, therefore it's not finished. But anyway, as things progress, I will keep you guys updated. More importantly, on the Twitch streams, I'm actually using The Sims to design my house and talking alongside the architect saying, I wanna do this and do that. So if you've got any creative ideas where you can be like, Tom, you could do this with the house. Come on in the chat, give us the advice, give us the like direction to go with it. And you never know, your idea could be added into the project of building the extension on the house. So yeah, it's pretty crazy and pretty cool. So I need to wrap up this vlog because I just love talking to you guys, even though I'm talking at a camera, but I'm so used to talking on Twitch where I can literally have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. It's great. So yeah, I need to go. Alice will kill me if, again, if I don't say, hey, go to syndicateoriginal.com, make sure you get your tracksuits. It's like, the hypest item we've ever released from syndicateoriginal.com. Uh, you guys know it's a family-run company. We were supposed to release them, release them months ago and we just couldn't because of like the shipping times and then coronavirus and it was just, it was just a madness. So if you do want to get them in time for Christmas, guys, nice little gift for someone who watches the vlogs or anything like that, go ahead and get them. They are honestly the best thing we've ever created. I love them to pieces. All my homies have got them. Uh, we sent out swag bags to all of them and they absolutely love them to pieces. So. Yeah, like I say, we don't just do this as a, oh, YouTuber merchandise, like slap a name on a t-shirt or something like this. No, it's fully all customizable. We don't take the piss. We do things properly and Evan absolutely crushes it. And I'm just so proud of the team. So yeah, link will be down below for that. Check out the Twitch guys. And whenever something else changes in my life, I will indeed be keeping you guys up to date with it. And uh, if you've ever got any questions you want to ask, you'll be able to find me live starting from Monday, 10.30 a.m. in the morning. I'll be there. Most likely late, but I will be there. So until then guys, thank you for watching. Stay strong mentally, physically, and in every way possible during the crazy times that are going on. You may think the world is against you and things are just so tough and it's happening with a lot of people. So don't think for a single second that you're in this alone. You're not. And hopefully jumping into the chat room on Twitch can help you out because there's been a lot of people who've said it's helped them out just feeling like they're not in this like isolated bubble by themselves. Instead, they've got an entire community behind them, which is this Life of Tom community. So thank you for following me all these years. If there's any way I can help you out in any way, shape or form via entertainment on my Twitch channel, then that's entirely what I intend to do. So I'm gonna love yous, leave yous, and until next time, setting us.